Hello, I'm Kate and welcome to this video. It's another charity shop haul, so a thrift haul. Everything you're about to see I found recently, it was second hand and there's some really good things in this haul, some brilliant finds, some Christmas items and some kind of house decor. Haven't got any clothes actually in this video, just um, not really clothes, accessories like, well, scarf and gloves. Um, and then, yeah, some other bits and bobs. Oh, actually, no, I do have something that is is clothes, but it's like in disguise. Oh, it's very interesting. I'll show you that kind of near the end. So yeah, a really good haul. So I hope you're okay. And sending love to everyone. Hope you've had a nice week. And just before I get into the haul, I've got to do my mug of the day. And it is this lovely Christmas mug. This is a Queens by Churchill mug and yeah it says merry christmas on it it's got a bauble and a tree and then it's kind of repeated on the back here i love these mugs they're really nice shape they're kind of like the kath kidston you know like the large kath kidston mugs it's that kind of shape and um yeah i think it's lovely i got two of these about two or three years ago and they were 50p each they had a set of four but i only got two i think now if i'd if i'd have seen them i would have got all four i quite like matching mugs i usually just like individual mugs and i, I quite like a bit of matchy matchy at the moment um so yeah this is my mug of the day and uh, i've got a coffee it's gone a little bit cold mm. it's kind of okay it's like lukey luke warmy um yeah so that's my mug of the day i thought i'd start getting my christmas ones out because it's nearly December, isn't it? Oh, just before I carry on, actually, I've got to say hi to two people. I've got to say a massive hello to my Auntie Sue in Australia. Hello, Auntie Sue. Happy birthday for the 29th of November. And Auntie Sue, I feel like I'm on CBeebies or something. Auntie, Auntie Sue is going to be turning 70. So happy birthday, Auntie Bong Bong. I really miss you. And hopefully we can get together next year because she's meant to come over, but you know, coronavirus. Um, so yeah, have a lovely birthday. Auntie Sue Sue from all of us. All of us, Rufus, Bestie, Lee, Toby, my dad, everyone. And also got to say hi to Elaine Paget in Wakefield from um, your lovely friend Denise. So hi to Elaine. Right, shall I carry on? Carry on, I haven't even started. I'll start off with, these were a bit random actually. I saw them and thought, hmm. And I thought, I don't know if I can leave without them. I'm probably going to use them in the summer but you'll see them and you might love them I do love them I need to give them a wash actually because I haven't washed them but look these are bowls they look like very posh bowls they're actually plastic ones so I was I thought that was great because then you know when you have like melon is it melamine you know like plastic bowls you can just use them and you don't have to be precious with them so I, I felt like I had to get them so these are from Marks and Spencers I think oh I haven't got the price I think they were like I any, no I haven't got the price on these I think they were 50p each or something like that and they're kind of gold with pink and the flowers and stuff on the inside so yeah I just felt like I need to get them so I thought it'd be quite nice in the summer with cereal or you know to put on a table with little nibbles in so I thought I'll get them and put them away because obviously they're not very festive they're very summery and then I got some gloves so a little pair of gloves these were one pound from Sue Ryder. I think they're next actually. Let's have a look. Where are you from? These feel brand new. Yeah, they're from next. So I just thought I'd get them because I always misplace my gloves. You know, when you need them when you're watching football, you're outside like, oh, I need some gloves. So I thought it was good to have a couple of pairs lying around and then you can just grab them. So I'll put them in the, in the utility room in the coat and hat rack thing I've got. So some gloves for a quid. And then I also picked up a really beautiful scarf. This is a fat face scarf. As you can see there, it's fat face and it was £2.59 from the Children's Society. I think that was Norwich, actually. I picked that one up. And it's really nice. It looks brand new. I don't know if it's ever been worn, but it's in such good condition. And it's huge and really soft, really snuggly. And I love these colours. So you've got a nice kind of soft blush pink, creamy or white, and then grey with little tassels on the end. So really lovely scarf and it's massive. So you could use it as a as a blanket, but it's kind of not too thick. You know, some scarves are too thick. You put them around like your neck and you're like, ah, like a, a zombie. And you can't, you know, you feel like you can't move your neck. Um, but this one, this one feels nice. So let's have a try. I haven't tried it on yet. So hopefully it's not too, do you know what I mean with the zombie thing? When they're too big and then you can't, you just can't, can you? Oh no, is this, am I, ah, am I doing the zombie thing? No, I think that's okay, isn't it? Let's get the hair out. It feels really snuggly. Now that's a good one. I think it's any bigger. I'd have been the scarf zombie person, but 
Yeah, I really like. That's really snuggly. Oh, I love us. I love scarves and hats. I haven't worn a hat yet. Although I'm doing my fingers like that, but you know, you wear a nice hat and then you, you've got your scarf and then you've got your gloves and you're all snuggly and then you start to sweat, but you, you're in your coat and you're all zombified. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, yeah, a lovely scarf. Fat face scarf. I love this scarf and I think it was a very good buy for £2.59. So yeah, lovely fat face scarf. And oh no, I've got one more. No, I'll show you that at the end. That's in the cafe. I've got a Kath Kidston section of this haul, which is very exciting. So I bought a bath rack. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's brand new and it's from Dunelm originally and it uh, was three pounds so I'm not sure how much maybe it was like eight or ten pounds new but it was three pounds and it's brand new and I just thought I'd get this because I do have one on our bath at the minute but it's looking a little bit kind of worse for wear because obviously when you have a bath all the steam it probably they don't do that well so I thought I would get this and then when the time is right I can replace it and put this in my um my bathroom I do love a bath rack though you know you just put all your different things on there I'm not brave enough to put like an iPad or a phone on there but I just put little you know whatever your cup of tea or your drink on here with your bath stuff and they just look really nice don't they they're great for Instagram because you just place all like lovely candles and things on them oh, I'll just put this over there so yeah three pounds for that for the bath rack just put it down there and then oh this is nice I love things like this I can never resist little kind of gifts when they're reasonably priced so this is a body shop um little gift box and i'm going to keep this actually this was 199 from the children's society and what scent are you i don't actually know oh no it's a, a coconut i do like a bit of coconut so i'll just get into this oh no i'm gonna have to just oh there we go try your luck you're on a roll start a winter winning streak by using this gift as a die what does that mean? Oh, right. A dice, as in it's got numbers on. Yeah, look, that's a bit confusing. What do you mean? What are you talking about? So in here, you've got a shower monster, one of those things. I don't use them, so I'm going to probably donate that. Rufus has just come in. Come on, come on, up, up you get. Ah, oh, yeah, you look up here, Rufus. Oh, can you see him? Hello, gorgeous dog. Oh, I love this dog. I love you so much. You don't even know. Every like day I say to him, probably a few times a day, you don't even know how much I, you don't even know how much I love you. He's just yawning going, yeah, yeah. Oh, Rufus, I haven't got any um, G-bones though. I do, I do apologise. I quite like this. Um, so yeah, I, I probably won't use that. I'll probably donate that, put it in the charity shop bag to go back. And then I've got some milk, body milk and some shower cream it's gonna smell lovely i don't think you're gonna like the smell of this yeah really nice that got the thingy on it Ooh. oh just smells lovely i love body shop really love body shop products so i'll put that there and then what else have we got a little christmas decoration a little house in here it's a really cute little metal <laughs> he just did that thing you know and dogs do that thing with their head to get you to stroke them um yeah i can't resist things like this a little metal house and you put your tea light inside here and then the um you know the light kind of glows out of the little windows so it's really sweet oh it's from well, i just think it's poundland actually it says tea light holder mc po box blah 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 birmingham that's home bargains or um poundland but i must have missed that so really cute and it was only 99p so had to get that can you see that there yeah so that had to come home with me um and then i got some more toiletries actually i've got some brand new uh soap and glory face wash so vitamin c hello soothes cleanse purifies face wash and this is a really good size so this is how much is in here i think it's 500 yeah no 350 milliliters it was a pound from cancer research uk so i'll be using that i do love a face wash and I also picked up this hand wash. So this is Fruitworks brand new hand wash. That's brand new as well, the face wash. Rhubarb and pomegranate, 500 millilitres. And again, that was only a pound. And there was a like a lady, they had this like table by the till with things on it. And there was a lady like looking at them. I was like, oh no, I want them. So she picked it up and then she put it down. And I was just watching like that. Oh, oh, oh. And they picked it up, put it down. And then she walked away. 
I just grabbed it <laughs> and then got it. But she didn't want it, so um, I got it. And sometimes they don't put them down, do they? they? They take the treasure, but that's fine because we all find things at different times. And look at this for treasure. Look at this guy. Look at him. I saw him in the window of a Sue Ryder charity shop and I thought it's not going to be for sale. You know when you see things in the window and you think, oh, I love that, but I thought it was going to have like a not for sale sticker. And I picked him up. And there was nothing on him, so I thought, oh, it still might not be for sale. So I asked the lady, and she said, oh, he's three pounds. I was like, I'll definitely get him. So look, a wicker penguin for my Christmas decorations. How gorgeous is he? I was really, really happy when I found him. I was like, yep, you're coming home with me. You are the best thing ever. Three quid for this little penguin. And he's really nice, like, grey wicker. So cute, isn't it? So it's going to, like, fit in really well with our Christmas decorations. You're so cute love that so yeah he was three pounds i don't know where he's from originally but i think he's happy Are you happy in your new home oh, so am. he's very happy he even he even talks i don't know if that um sounded like a penguin and then look at this this is really cute it's sort of a little bit broken but i felt i think lee can fix it and um and then it can have a happy life again let me just push it in there i think it just needs like a nail at the top or something but there's this christmas tree this wooden funny Christmas tree and it was yeah one ninety nine from the Children's Society and it's got quite a nice kind of bit at the bottom here and then it just looks like, like that it's wooden with little bells on it I just thought it was really cute and I felt I had to get it so it's really light you know that super light wood it's really light and just yeah I thought it was lovely so I'll put that somewhere as well it's actually quite tall I don't know if you can see there, but it's, look, it's long. It's quite rustic, isn't it? Love the little bells as well. So yeah, that had to come home with me. That was from Norwich as well, that one. So yeah, a couple of lovely Christmas bits there. And then I've got over here, oh, a candle, a little Yankee candle. This was from Sue Ryder as well. So Yankee candle, um, home inspiration, cozy up, it says on here. Let's have a sniff. I know you're meant to just smell the the glass, but yeah, it's lovely. A really nice, fresh smell. And that was, I think that was two quid for that candle. Um, I've lost the price tag though. Rufus is now having a little snore, which you can probably hear. He's down here having a snooze. I got a couple of books in um, Cancer Research. They have like a huge book section. It's, the, it's a massive charity shop. It's brilliant. And I always have a look at the sort of, the lifestyle books because I find they, they can be better than magazines and you can find really good things and then for 50p each you can just have a read and then redonate them can't you so I thought there's one here which I'll show you and I thought I can get some ideas from but then if I don't use it I can just redonate it and then someone else can find it but this one oh I'll show you that the one I was just talking about so this is for me and it just says the perfect afternoon tea. Originally, it should have been £10.99, but obviously I got it for 50p. And there's just, oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Loads of um, ideas in here about afternoon tea. And I think for me, it's how to present it as well, how it all looks. So some nice little biscuit ideas in here. Maybe I can give this to Lee's mum if she'd want to have a little look after. Oh, look, little teacups and teas of the world. Oh, Rufus, that's a nice one there, isn't it? This pink one, it goes in my bowls. So yeah, I just thought I would get that because you can't really go wrong for 50p, can you? And it's just nice to have a little look in and, oh, look at those. Oh, some sausage rolls as well. Oh. So that one is for me. And then I bought this one for a friend. I thought Luke might like this. So I'm gonna do a little, this is a little sneaky Christmas present. So if he's watching, don't watch this bit. Hi Luke, if you're watching. Um, and hi to Ewan as well, if you're watching this. Um, Ewan can watch because he can see because it's it's for Luke. But he might not even, he might think it's a bit rubbish, but he might find some good things in here. And for 50p, I just thought, well, it's nice, isn't it? When when someone gets something because they think of you, it's it's quite nice. So I thought, well, I'll get that for Luke. And if he, you know, if there isn't anything in here, I'm sure he can donate it again. So it just is called What's Cooking Baking? What? What's Cooking Bacon? Um, a collection of must-have recipes for all occasions. Uh, what's cooking baking maybe there's a range of what's cooking books and then this is the baking one so in here there's just tons and tons of pictures I don't know you can find everything on the internet but it's quite nice to have an actual book and read oh, look at that I could eat that now read like a recipe 
So I just thought, do you know what? Take a chance. It's only 50p and a little gift for Luke. So hopefully he'll like that. But if not, he can just donate it. It doesn't matter. And then I'm onto my final few buys in this charity shop haul. It's the Kath Kidston section. I don't think I've ever had a Kath Kidston section before. I do love finding Kath Kidston things, especially like the older stuff, because it's kind of really changed, isn't it? All the Kath Kidston stuff. I do think it's really nice, but I love to find like the older bits. So I've got, I shall show you this. This is the thing I was going on about earlier on, the um, the clothing that's not clothing because it's, it's a secret. Well, it's not really because it's in a bag. It's just, it's a cagoule thing. A cag in a bag and it's a size 12. I actually bought this, the same one a few years ago and it was size small. I thought, I'll be okay. You know, I'll wear it and it was really small. So I had to I had to donate that in the end. So I thought, oh, it's the same one, but in um in my size. So Kath gives some cag in a bag. I know that looks a bit wreckedy, but it doesn't matter. This was five pounds and it's the cherries print, which is really nice. So I'll just open the bag. The only thing I find things like this, you you get it, oh no, it's in a bag. Like you never get it back in a bag. It's always then a coat. Whenever I get things, I can never repack them because I'm rubbish. I don't have enough patience and it becomes just a keg rather than a keg in a bag. This would just be great to leave in the car and then if I get caught short by the rain, I can chuck it on. So here we go. That is my tag in a bag. I'll give it a little wash, but yeah, this one is a lot bigger than the previous one that didn't actually fit me. That's my tag. I'll try and get it back in the bag after this video. I love that print. I've got some, um, I've got a couple of mugs actually and some cups, like teacups in this, in this print. It's really cute. I love the colors. Oh yes, that was five pounds and it's a size 12 so that will fit me and then i got a couple of hand creams you know i do love a kath kidson hand cream if you watched my vlogmas from a few years ago i had a kath kidson advent calendar and um let me know if you did watch if you watched that vlogmas and you remember the hand creams every time i opened the door in the advent calendar it was a hand cream and it was really funny like i don't know why it was just really daft because i thought there'd be different things and it was pretty much a hand cream advent calendar um but the, you know it's good because we needed hand creams over the last year or so so we've actually been they're all used up pretty much so i thought well i can get some more so these were two pounds each so i couldn't resist them and yeah we've got a hand cream trio always using hand cream and, and leah's as well and i gave some to a friend the other day because she needed some i was like have some of these i can find some more um so yeah we've got some nice hand creams here really cute little birds on brand new love a little thing like that and oh these are christmas ones really cute little bears trio these are from sue rider in galston as well and yeah just very cute it's so cute the packaging i don't want to open them but obviously i will and we'll, we'll be using these up and they're great to put in your handbag as well in a little bag love them really really sweet 30 mils in each one right, i'm on to my final thing now and i nearly didn't get it because i don't really know what it is or what it's used for but it was original Kath Kidston, so I thought I should I should get it because there's not many original old Kath Kidston -y things out there. But what is what what is this? Is this for soap? Is it a dish for your jewellery? I don't really know what it is, but look on the back, it's like it's older, isn't it? So I thought it needed to come home with me because how could I leave a Kath Kidston thing behind? It was two pounds. Maybe I can just use that for tea bags. But it's too nice for tea bags. So what do you reckon? Or is it to go on the wall? I don't really know, but it's lovely like china plate. Is that a daisy? I think it is a daisy, isn't it? Does it say on the back? Shaped flower dish. So it's just a dish. So you could maybe have oh well, it's too nice for toast, isn't it? I don't know. What would you if you had this, what would you do with it? What would you use it for? Yes, Rufus, having a snore. Let me know in the... Oh, that was better. You okay, Bestie? Bestie! Bestie just fell down. Bestie was very unsociable, just fell down, was a bit, bit embarrassed and then just strode out the door there. So I think he's going to go outside and, and run around for a bit. Um, Yeah, so let me know about this. Um, And I think it was, that was like Kath Kidson's sale or something. So yeah i knew he didn't get it and i was with toby and he said yeah i get it it's really pretty and i was like okay then it was only 199 no it was two pounds um yeah it was two pounds i think it was bernardo's actually that was from so that is everything in my charity shop haul so i really hope you enjoyed it i didn't have 
and there's loads of little things isn't there it's not like tons of clothes or anything but I really enjoyed like buying all this finding the Christmassy bits and things that I'm going to use like straight away the hand wash the face wash the penguin the tea light thing and there's some really nice like things I'm going to you straight away so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video so if you did make sure you give it a like and subscribe as well and last week i did oh it's a really good video it was a shopping vlog a charity shop haul and then i upcycled things using my cricket machine so i'll link that below it was a sponsored video and it was brilliant fun and i kind of couldn't stop and i've got to do some more things actually i've got to personalize some um some more things uh this week or next week now i think um so yeah thank you very much for watching this one i'll link that video below plus i think there's a poundland haul before that next week it's either going to be a vlog or a poundland haul i'm not sure so it'll be one of them coming up next week so look out for that at two o'clock um on friday and yeah have a lovely time have a lovely weekend come over to instagram as well if you're on there or not on there i'm kate mccabe and my house account is called kate's georgian home so i'll link those in the description box so you can just click that and go straight to instagram so if you're not already on there um or if you're on there say hi and um if you're not it's a really nice place to kind of to be i really love instagram i do enjoy it so yeah come say hello on there but have a great weekend i'll speak to you next week friday at two o'clock and then um, goodbye from lovely snoring rufus i think should i get you a gravy bone is it time for a gravy? okay it's gravy bone time so that's what we're gonna do and i'll speak to you soon take care bye bye